in symmetric spaces and their applications. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this nice, nice conference. Uh, it's a very uh, pleasure to talk here. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about antipodal sets of compact Riemannian symmetric spaces and their applications. Antipodal sets uh, is a, a fundamental finite set of uh, compact Riemannian symmetric space. Uh, this is uh, a table of contents. Uh, this, uh, this talk is uh, based on my joint work with uh, Hiroyuki Tasaki. Uh, he is in Tsu uh, University of Tsukuba. Uh, in the first section, I will uh, introduce uh, the basic notions uh, which uh, we will need later. And uh, I will explain what we did. And the second chapter, uh, I will explain uh, one of uh, our results uh, that uh, fundamental properties of antipodal sets uh, in Hamishan symmetric space of compact type and uh, symmetric R uh, uh, real homes of uh, Sorry, <laughs> fundamental properties of antipodal sets of real forms. And the uh, third section, third chapter, I will explain uh, and the notion of a polar, uh, which will play an important role uh, to prove our result. And the last section, uh, I will talk about uh, another of our results of uh, intersections of two real homes uh, in Hamishan symmetric space of compact type. Now, uh, let M be a Riemannian symmetric space. And Sx denotes the geodesic symmetry at x in M. Uh, that is, uh, Sx is involutive isometry, and uh, x is isolated fixed point of Sx. And we take a subset S in M. Then. Uh, S is called an antipodal set if for every point X and Y in S, uh, S, X, Y is Y. It's, uh, that is, S, X fixes every point in S. This notion is, uh, was introduced by uh, Bang Yen Chen and <coughs> Professor Nagano in 1988. For example, uh, for, for the case of n dimensional sphere, for any point P in the sphere, uh, the, the geodesic symmetry SP is given by, uh, induced by uh, in this from uh, the uh, reflection in Rn plus 1. Uh, this means uh, identity of uh, one dimensional subspace sp spanned by P and uh, minus identity on P perp, also another component of P. So uh, P and minus P makes an antipodal set.
And for the case of real projective space, uh, the geodesic, geodesic symmetry SX is also induced by the reflection on Rn plus 1. So if we choose uh, one dimensional subspace Y in XPAP, then X and Y makes an antipodal set. More generally, uh, if we choose uh, orthonormal basis of Rn plus 1, then uh, these uh, one dimensional subspaces uh, spanned by uh, the, these orthonormal basis uh, vectors uh, makes an uh, antipodal set which is a maximal antipodal set. Uh, now let M be a compact Riemannian symmetric space. And uh, the, the definition of two number uh, denoted by sharp under 2M uh, is given by this. Uh, this is the su supremum of the cardinality of uh, uh, antipodal set in N. Uh, this, uh, the notion of two number is also uh, uh, introduced by Chen and Nagano. Uh, we can find that uh, two number is finite. Let S be an antipodal set of compact Riemannian symmetric space M. Uh, we call antipodal set S is great, great antipodal set if uh, the cardinality of S attains the two number of M. Uh, here we remark that a great antipodal set is maximal, but the converse is not true in general. And th th which means, uh, that means there is a, a maximal antipodal set, but uh, the cardinality, its cardinality uh, is less than two number of them. Mm -hmm. uh, two number is infinite, but yes. still it can be, um, it cannot be great. Uh, sorry. So there is a case uh, that S cannot be great. Uh, maximal. Uh, maximal. Uh, the cardinality of S attains two number. Uh, in this paper, uh, Chen Nagano gave uh, two number for compact of compact irreducible Riemannian symmetric spaces uh, with some exceptions. For example, we cannot find the two number of uh, oriented real Grassmannian. Uh, orient so yes? The is not uh, there exists an uh, uh, antipodal set which, uh, which is maximal. There is no uh, larger, there is, th there is no larger uh, antipodal set which included it, but uh, the cardinality is strongly less than two number of it. Uh, I will mention later, but we can find that, that uh, example, uh, the counter example, uh, when M is 
SU4 over Z4. We cannot find uh, the two number of uh, oriented real Grassmannian in Chen Nagano's paper. Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, the two number of uh, oriented uh, real Grassmannian is very, very complicated. So, and uh, I, I don't know the, the answer. Now I give some examples. Uh, to, num to number of Sn is equal to uh, P, uh, for any point P, P and uh, minus P gives a great antipodal set. And the two number of real projective space Rpn is uh, n plus one. Uh, I, I will mention before, uh, this uh, antipodal set is gives, uh, 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 this is a, a great antipodal set. We can find this is a great antipodal set. And more generally, uh, for Grassmannian manifolds, for real, complex, and quaternion, uh, uh, this, this uh, denotes uh, k-dimensional k-subspaces in kn. Then, uh, two number of this Grassmannian manifold is given by uh, the uh, bi binomial coefficient. Uh, in fact, uh, if we choose uh, os uh, canonical basis of Kn, E1 dot dot En, then uh, this uh, this set this set gives a great antipodal set. Partial order relation. Partial order relation. Partial. Ah, uh, 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 this. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Huh? Uh, th this. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> uh, here is some related works uh, to two number and antipodal sets after Chen Nagano's paper. One is uh, uh, a paper of Masar, uh, Professor Masaru Takeuchi in 1989. Uh, he proved that if M is a symmetric R space, then two number is coincides with the dimension of uh, homology group, uh, Z2 homology group. Uh, this, this means uh, uh, sum of Z, Z2, Z2, Z2 batch numbers. And uh, uh, th this is a the definition of symmetrical space. A compact Riemannian symmetric space is called a symmetric R space if it is an orbit under the linear isotropy action of a semi-simple Riemannian symmetric space. And uh, uh, there's uh, two papers by Sanchez. Uh, he generalized the two number to uh, K symmetric spaces and frag manifolds. And the joint paper uh, of Professor Berndt with uh, Consol and Fino, uh, 
in this paper, they uh, gave uh, symplectic topological and most theoretical approach to, to the result of Sanchez. Now, uh, let consider a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And uh, let tau denote an involutive anti-holomorphic isometry of M. Then the uh, fixed point set of this anti uh, involutive anti-holomorphic isometry is called a real home of M if uh, it is not empty. Uh, here is some remarks for real homes. Uh, we can find that real form is connected. This fixed point set is always connected. And uh, real form L is totally, totally geodesic Lagrangian submanifold of M. And every real home is a symmetric R space. And the converse is also true. This is the result of by Takeuchi, Professor Takeuchi. And uh, what we did are the following. Uh, the first one is to investigate fundamental properties of antipodal sets of a uh, Hermitian symmetric space of compact type and those of a uh, real home. And to in investigate the intersection of two real homes in a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type and to clarify the relation to antipodal sets. Uh, now uh, we move to the following section. Uh, let M be a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. Uh, then it is known that uh, Hermitian symmetric space of compact type is realized as the adjoint orbit uh, of a compact semisimple regroup. Where uh, J is a uh, non zero element in the, the real algebra G, which satisfied add J, uh, three power of add J is minus add J. Now, uh, uh, here I gave the definition of co congruent, congruent. Uh, two subset S1 and S2 in M are congruent uh, if and only if there exists an element G in the identity component of the isometry group of M such that G uh, maps S1 to S2. Uh, now, uh, here is a theorem one. Uh, this is uh, given by Sanchez and uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, let M be a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And we consider uh, we consider uh, M as a, as the, the adjoint orbit in the real algebra G. Then, for uh, any x and y in M, uh, uh, this is the geodesic symmetry at x. 
x s x y equal y if and only if the bracket x and y equals zero. And moreover, uh, the following conditions A and B hold. A. Uh, any antipodal set is included in a great antipodal set. And B. Any two great antipodal sets are congruent. And for any great antipodal set of M, there exists a, a maximal abelian subalgebra of G, uh, T, such that S is, uh, S is described as the intersection of M and T. So in particular, a great antipodal set is an orbit of the wild group of G. Uh, this is theorem two. Let M be a Hamisha symmetric space of compact type. And uh, we again uh, considered M as an, as an uh, the adjoint orbit. And let tau be an involutive anti-holomorphic ice. Kind of the Shimura type or Shimura variety? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't know the definition of Shimura variety. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 yes. Then. Uh, uh, let L denote the uh, real home defined by tau and assume uh, L uh, includes J. J belongs to L. And uh, let I tau denote, uh, define, uh, we define I tau by uh, tau g tau inverse for g in uh, Lie group g. Uh, this is an involutive automorphism of g. And uh, then we have the decomposition uh, with respect to the differential d i tau. Uh, here l is uh, plus one i n space of d i tau and p is minus one uh, a eigen space of di tau. Then uh, this uh, real home is de described as the intersection of M and P. And moreover, uh, A and B in the previous theorem hold. That is Uh, any antipodal set, set is included in a great, great antipodal set, and any two great antipodal sets are congruent. And for any great antipodal set of L, there exists a maximal abelian subspace of P, such that uh, S is described as the intersection of M and R. In particular, uh, great antipodal set is an orbit of the wild group of the symmetric pair determined by I tau. Uh, so, Every real home is a symmetrical space, so we have the following corollary. If M is a symmetric R space, any antipodal set of symmetrical space is included in a great antipodal set. And any two great antipodal sets in a symmetrical space 
are congruent. So what's the congruent? Uh, uh, the, uh, there's the, uh, an element in the, uh, the uh, <laughs> identity component of the isometry group which maps, yes. <coughs> Uh, I mentioned here uh, before uh, SU4 over Z4 does not satisfy A. That is, there exists a max maximal antipodal set which is not great. Now, uh, uh, we move to the next section. Let M be a compact Riemannian symmetric space, and we choose a point P, uh, sorry, P in M. Then uh, we consider the fixed point set of the geodesic, sim the geodesic symmetry SP, and uh, uh, it is a uh, the dis, uh, dis, disjoint union of the connected components, and each connected component we denote MJ plus. And uh, by the definition, uh, the point P is always uh, the isolated fixed point. So uh, we uh, uh, we denote M1 plus is the point P. Uh, each MJ plus is called a polar of N. MJ plus is also one point set? Uh, no, other, other MJ plus is higher, have higher, higher dimension, not zero uh, in general. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, have a positive dimension. Uh, but under some condition, you said that the polar set is the uh, two, two number is finite. So yes. Uh, it's not. Ah, uh, uh, th this th you mean R? R is finite. Uh, R is finite. But two number is the number point of the set. Right? Yes. Two number. Two number is the maximal cardinality of the uh, uh, antipodal set. Uh, this is not uh, uh, <laughs> this is not a finite set in usual uh, in generally MJ plus is positive have a positive dimension but you mean that this point are not set. Uh, this is SPM 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 this one? All the points. Uh, all the points. Not the uh, no, no. In general, not uh, anti, uh, uh, antipodal set. Ah, oh, sorry. But the definition of antipodal set is the. What was the Uh, which satisfies for any x, y in S, x, S, x, y fixes y. Any, any x, y. Uh, okay. Because, uh, a polar is uh, the connected component of the uh, in, uh, involutive isometry. So a polar is a totally geodesic submanifold. For example, if M is a complex projective space, then uh, if we choose a unitary basis of Cn plus 1 and uh, choose P is a one-dimensional subspace spanned by E1, then uh, the fixed point set of SP is 
uh, one component is P, and uh, the other one is one dimensional subspaces in uh, P pop, uh, orthogonal complement. And this com uh, connected component considered as CPN minus one. Now, uh, let M be a compact Riemannian symmetric space, and uh, we uh, denote uh, uh, the fixed point set of SP is the dis <coughs> distant union MJ plus. Then, two number of M is uh, less than or equal to the sum of two number of MJ plus. Uh, this is because if S is an antipodal set, and if we choose a point P in S, then S is included in the fixed point set of SP. So, uh, the intersection of the intersection of S and MJ plus is antipodal set in MJ plus. So we have this inequality. Uh, this is a Chen Nagano's theorem. Let M be a compact Riemannian symmetric space, and uh, uh, then uh, the two number of M is uh, greater than or equal to the Euler number of M. And if M is a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type, then the, the equality holds. And uh, th this uh, inequality uh, comes to be equal, equal, e equal, if a uh, Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. Uh, more generally, uh, Professor Takeuchi proved that if M is a symmetric R space, two number of M is equal to the sum of two number of MJ plus. Uh, if M is a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type, then each uh, polar, MJ plus, is also a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type, if uh, the dimension is positive. And uh, we have the following lemma. Uh, M is a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type, and L is a real home of M, and we choose a point O in L. Then, uh, ah, sorry, uh, uh, let M plus a polar of M with respect to this point O, and we assume that the intersection of M plus L is not empty. Then, uh, the intersection M plus and L is a real home of M plus. Now, uh, the next lemma is the following. Uh, let M be a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type and choose a point O in M. And we denote the fixed point set of SO, uh, the distant union of MJ plus. Then, uh, the first uh, conclusion is that uh, if L is a real home of, of M, uh, including, a, including O, then the fixed point set of SO <coughs> in L is the distant union of L, the intersection of L and MJ plus. And the two number of L 
is equal to the two number, uh, sum of the two number of uh, the intersection of L and MJ plus. And the second conclusion is that uh, let L1 and L2, uh, two real forms of M, and uh, we assume that O is included in the uh, intersection of L1 and L2. Then L1 and L2 is equal to the uh, distant union of the <coughs> uh, intersection of L1 and MJ plus and uh, L2 uh, and MJ plus. And uh, the cardinality of uh, the intersection is sum of these cardinalities. Now, uh, we will move to the next section. <coughs> uh, we first, I, I would like to first explain very simple example. Let's consider two-dimensional sphere, uh, which is CP1. Uh, this is a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And then, uh, real form of S2 is a great circle. And the compass is also two. Then, any two great circles intersect in two points which are antipodal to each other if they intersect in transversely. Uh, I will write a picture. In S2, uh, real form of S2 is uh, a great circle, a totally geodesic uh, circle. So uh, if we ha uh, choose any two great circles which intersect transversely, then the intersection is two points here and here, which are antipodal to each other. More generally, let M be a, a complex projective space, and let L be a real projective space, uh, which is a, a, a real home of CPN. Uh, if uh, for, uh, for, for an element in the identity component of the isometry group of M, uh, L and G, L intersect transversely, then there exists a unitary basis of C n plus 1, uh, which gives uh, uh, each uh, the one dimensional spaces uh, given by the, these vectors uh, gave. Uh, coincides with the intersection of L and G L. This is a, a result of Howard. And so, in particular, L and the intersection of L and G L is a great antipodal set because uh, the cardinality of this set is n plus one, and n plus one is the two number of CPA.
Now, uh, this is uh, uh, one of our results. Let A be a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And uh, let us denote L1 and L2, two real homes of M, which uh, intersect transversely. Not orthogonal, spanned uh, four tangent space. Then, real forms are always a real manifold? Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> the intersection of L1 and L2 is an antipodal set of L1 and L2. Uh, I, uh, I, I uh, explain uh, uh, shortly the idea of a proof. Uh, it is enough uh, to, uh, for any, ah, Ah, yes. For any two point in the intersection of L1 and L2, uh, it is enough to prove that there exists a closed geodesic gamma uh, uh, in M such that X and Y is antipodal to each other on gamma. So uh, we, it is enough to consider uh, to. Uh, uh, choose maximal torus of uh, L i which contain x and y and uh, we, we investigate how how these two maximal tori, A1 and A2, intersect in uh, how, uh, how A1 and A2 intersect, we in investigate. And uh, by using uh, the fact that uh, real home has a cubic unit lattice, uh, the, this investigation uh, gave us this conclusion. So here, real homes are uh, Lagrangians? Huh? Sorry? Lagrangians? Or ah, yes, real homes are Lagrangians. Lagrangian. Yes. And the uh, next theorem is the following. Uh, let M be a Hamisha symmetric so space of compact type, and we choose, uh, we take uh, four real homes of M. Uh, L1 and L2 uh, intersect transversely, and L1 prime and L2 prime intersect transversely, and Li and Li prime are congruent for I equal 1 and 2. Then uh, we have uh, the cardinality of the intersection of L1 and L2 is equal to the cardinality of uh, L1 prime cap L2 prime. Uh, this is not uh, trivial because if, uh, if uh, Li and Li dash are congruent, uh, the intersection of uh, these intersections uh, 
is not always congruent. And uh, this is a corollary of the previous result. Uh, uh, these are the same assumption. And we assume uh, the cardinality of the intersection of L1 and L2 is equal to the minimum of uh, the two numbers of L1 and L2. Then we have, uh, then we have uh, more, strong, more strong result. Uh, L1, uh, the intersection of L1 and L2 and L1 prime and L2, L2 prime are congruent. Now, uh, the next theorem. Uh, the previous theorem, we do, we do not assume L1 and L2 are congruent. Uh, so, uh, this, uh, this, in this theorem, we don't assume that L1 and L2 are congruent. Uh, 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 it, uh, L1 and L2 need not to congruent. But now, uh, in this theorem, we assume L1 and L2 are uh, congruent. Then we have uh, the result that uh, the intersection is a great antipodal set. Uh, that is, the cardinality gives the two number of real homes. Uh, this is a, tight, a globally definition of globally tight. Uh, it, 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 the notion is given by YGO. Uh, let M be a Hermitian symmetric space and L be a Lagrangian submanifold. Then L is uh, called a globally tight if uh, the intersection of uh, the, the cardinality of the intersection of L and GL uh, is equal to the, uh, the sum of Z2 batch numbers of L. For any uh, G in uh, the identity component of I M with L and G L intersect transversely. So by the previous our result, we have the following corollary. Any real home of a Hermitian symmetric space of compact type is a globally tight Lagrangian subman. Uh, the classification of real homes is obtained by uh, DPS Dun and Masaru Takeuchi. Uh, uh, here is an uh, uh, example of uh, real homes. If M is a, a complex Grassmannian manifold, K dimensional subspaces in CN, then uh, real home is uh, uh, these three kinds. Uh, one is real Grassmannian manifold for any k and n. And quaternion Grassmannian, Grassmannian manifold, if uh, k is even, uh, k and n both even. And Unitary group, if uh, n is two times k. And uh, the following theorem, we assume irreducibility of Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And uh, we uh, assume L and L2 are real homes uh, intersect transversely 
and the two number of L1 is less than or equal to the two number of L2. Then, uh, when the case M is this Grassmann, uh, complex Grassmannian, and L1 is this uh, quaternion Grassmannian, and L2 is this unitary group, then uh, the intersection is strongly less than two numbers of real form. And the other case, uh, in, in particular, uh, this means uh, the intersection is not a great antipodal set. And otherwise, we have this equality. So uh, the intersection is a great antipodal set. Uh, this is a, a very, uh, it seems very strange because the only this case is an exception. But uh, we, ha we can construct uh, many examples if we consider non-irreducible Hamisha symmetric space. Let M be uh, a CP1, four times CP1. And tau one and tau two, uh, two involutive anti-holomorphic isometries, such that uh, real forms determined determined by tau one and tau two intersect transversally. And uh, we define L one L one as uh, x y tau one x tau one y for x, y in CP1. And L2 is defined by x tau 2 x, y tau 2 y. Then uh, L1 and L2 are real homes of M and uh, uh, intersect transversely. And the intersection of the intersection is uh, uh, two, which is uh, strongly less than the two number of L1 and L2, because these are four. So, uh, Lastly, I will mention. I will. Uh, I. I would like to refer to the one application of our results. Uh, this is uh, given by Irie, Sakai, and Tasaki. Let M be an irreducible Hermitian symmetric space of compact type. And. Uh, L1 and L2 real forms of M which intersect transversally. Then uh, the flare homology of uh, L1 and L2 is given by this. Uh, that is the intersection of uh, L, uh, the intersection of L1 and L2 itself becomes a basis of the Freya homology. So uh, I stop now. Thank you very much.